Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The U.S. Marine Corps, USMC, has confirmed the selection of General Dynamics Land Systems and Textron Systems to design, develop, and manufacture a prototype for the Advanced Reconnaissance Vehicle 30mm Autocannon, ARV-30. This collaboration is slated over a two-year term, focusing on creating a new combat vehicle to enhance the mobility and firepower of the Marines according to predefined requirements. The Army Contracting Command, Detroit Arsenal has awarded a contract action to General Dynamics Land Systems Inc., totaling $10,926,309. This contract, categorized as cost plus fixed fee, is aimed at designing an ARV medium caliber autocannon prototype vehicle, supporting the program manager light armored vehicle's objective to develop a prototype vehicle equipped with a 30mm gun. Set for completion in Sterling Heights, Michigan, by September 24, 2024, the project has already had $5,452,228 obligated from the fiscal 2024 Marine Corps funds allocated to research, development, test, and evaluation. In a parallel arrangement, Textron Systems Corporation has been awarded a contract valued at $11,808,000 for the design of a similar prototype vehicle. This contract aligns with the same objective set for General Dynamics, focusing on developing a prototype featuring a 30mm gun. The work, expected to be conducted in Hunt Valley, Maryland, shares the completion date with the General Dynamics project, with $5,892,192 already obligated from the same Marine Corps fiscal 2024 funds. The ARV-30 aims to enhance the current capabilities of the USMC, aligning with the Marine Corps specifications for Force Design 2030. Development criteria for the ARV prioritize mobility, connectivity, transportability, defense, and firepower to address present and future threats. This vehicle is part of the Marine Corps broader initiative to introduce a new family of vehicles supporting mobile reconnaissance missions and replacing the existing fleet of light armored vehicles, LAV-25, armed with a 25mm gun. In a May 2019 briefing, the Marine Corps outlined the operational capabilities required for the Advanced Reconnaissance Vehicle, ARV. These include an automatic medium-caliber cannon for direct fire and anti-armor capabilities to counter nearby heavy armor threats. The vehicle is also expected to feature precision-guided munitions for engaging threats beyond conventional ranges. To enhance versatility, the ARV should support unmanned systems capable of executing various functions through swarm capabilities. Moreover, advanced and networked electronic warfare tools are anticipated, along with a modern command and control suite enhanced with a full set of sensors. The ARV is expected to support integrated unmanned aerial and ground systems deployable directly from the vehicle. Vehicle protection should encompass both active and passive measures to defend against diverse threats. Lastly, the ARV should maintain efficient mobility for cross-country travel, on-road performance, and operations from shore to shore. The initiative for the ARV, initially aimed at enhancing the operational capabilities of Light Armored Reconnaissance LAR, battalions, aligns with the broader missions of reconnaissance, surveillance, and security operations. These battalions are also responsible for executing offensive, defensive, and deceptive maneuvers to support the strategic objectives of the Marine Division. Steve Myers, Program Manager for Light Armored Vehicles, highlights that the ARV-30 aims to incorporate the turret and weapon system from the ACV-30, with the goal of improving troop capacity and payload efficiency while ensuring crew safety. This integration is anticipated to enhance the Marines' target engagement capabilities. That's all for now. See you later.